D2DNY Rail World HVIC Simplified and now in this video we're going to be talking about Copeland Dig Digital Scroll Compressor the Copeland Digital Scroll Compressor okay now before we get into this video if you have not subscribe please do so and uh, hit that uh, notification icon so that whenever I do upload videos you get them right away okay so we're going to be talking about Copeland digital scroll compressor and uh, currently I'm looking at the Liebert unit for data centers, critical infrastructure. Is it Liebert or Emerson? Liebert, Emerson, these units are usually used in uh, critical for precision cooling, critical infrastructures, data centers, etc. But this video is not about the Liebert unit or, or Vertiv for that matter. It is about let me get some light here. It's about this compressor. Sounds like it's broken. Take a close look and listen. So it looks familiar, only that it doesn't sound familiar. So you hear that difference, or the change in sound, or the change in sound, uh, tone, or the clicks? It's not broken, all right? It's not broken. This is what you call a Copeland digital scroll compressor. Or I guess a, a digital scroll compressor, whichever. All right. Also, guys, has a sensor on the top right here, temperature sensor. That's a thermistor. Goes back into the control, the main control board. In this case, it's that because it's a Liebert. But if this compressor was installed other places, and in, are in other manufacturer equipment. More than likely, you'll have a, uh, a Copeland digital scroll compressor controller. But Libre was able to build the controls into their algorithms. Into their algorithms and to control this compressor. Now, before we get into how the compressor works, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Ah, it's a broke my light. This unit is working at 46, this, this compressor is working at 46% of its capacity. So, as I was saying, the compressor is currently running at 46% capacity of its full capacity. And if I go, if I go back here and go on the main screen. So, if, if, your, if your equipment doesn't have these abilities, then you'll have a, a Copeland digital scroll controller on the unit. So set point is 65. There you go. And return here is 67. 
So we're not using full capacity of the compressor because we're only two degrees away from set point. Let's see if I could make this a little bit colder. And then I'm gonna go over to the compressor. I'm gonna go around the compressor and I'm gonna explain really what's happening with that noise. Okay, so I go 62 degrees. So now I should increase the capacity. So let's get rid of that. Escape that. There you go. That's the humidifier by the way. Okay, so how it does this, take note of this solenoid right here and the pipes of the compressor suction into the valve and the pipe comes through and go to the top. It's a discharge, this is hot. Okay, so the compressor discharge Roads down here, the same pipe goes into the solenoid valve. Goes to the solenoid valve right here and goes down, comes back in over here to the suction. So whenever this solenoid is open, the discharge from the compressor is then routed back into the suction, which decreases how much of the actual volume of gas discharged from the compressor goes through the condenser and through the system and do actual works all right so again when this solenoid is active or, or, or when it's when it's closed it um, allows this compressor to work as full 100 percent capacity like it's doing right now as you saw when i, I lowered the temperature set points and now we need full capacity right right uh, we are further away from set point so we need full compressor full capacity um, but when it was close to the set point this solenoid would open and thus allowing the discharge from the compressor to be passed through and go right back into the suction. And when that happens, um, most of the volume from the compressor is going to go right back into the compressor itself and it won't go through the system. But by doing that, you lower the amperage because there's less load, less, lo less amperage draw, less load. And um, you also control the system capacity. Okay, so now it's not doing, it's clicking back and forth because we're doing 100%. Let's go and see that. So if I go back in there and raise the set point, here another screen All right, so we're once again, we're at two degrees. Let's wait for it to start to throttle down. See, now you hear it already kicks in. Solenoid. Oh, where is it? Oh, let's get out of this one. This one. Let's go over here.
and now you can hear the solenoid activating once again that's pretty much it guys that's how it works if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe so whenever you're a compressor you go on a job site if you got one of these compressors and you and you're listening to this noise it goes listen to this noise Compressor is fine. It's just it's, it's a di digital scroll compressor, and that's how it works. All right. Again, smash that notification notification bell or notification icon. This is when I do videos like this, you get them right away. All right. This is a Liber unit, critical infrastructure. That's a humidifier fan right there. All right. There's humidification as well. Okay. Um. That's about it.